What I want to talk about is two simple styles of lighting which people often come in and ask about. First of all, they might say that we uh, have got a, a townhouse and we're looking for lighting for a townhouse, and the other one being that we've moved into a country house, like a cottage or a barn conversion, and they're looking for some sort of inspiration of lighting for that. It's just generally a basic advice, and it's not to be uh, considered anything more than that, really. It's just a, a slight introduction to types of lighting for these two different types of styles. So first of all, if we talk about the country style, what we want to do is be thinking about a blacksmith-made uh, item and a sort of a forged metal item. That suits very well in any country location. And when I think about that, I think about this one here, the rustic chandelier in the forearms, which we make here. And you can see it has got an elegance to it, but it certainly has got the hand of the blacksmith on it. And it's quite a rudimentary in style, but still managed to have a sort of a flow and a feel of arts and crafts in the manufacture. This one is particularly well suited because we've managed to get a sort of a rustic feel to it with the application of this rust looking paint. But ultimately, any paint colour, it'll still portray the same item. If I can show you a lantern now, and this one is very popular in the black because people are happy to see the black look, which is sort of similar to forged iron. Of course, they're not made out of iron, and they probably never were. It's made out of mild steel, which is heavy enough, but considerably lighter than forged iron. So that's a very useful item. It just takes a single light bulb in the middle. Clear, strong style, quite nice and plain. A wall light that would be suitable for that, and there are many, but one that we find really useful is this little Provence light, which is really plain, very simple, it's just got the steel tubing on there and the wooden sconce and the steel back plate. It's very understated. It only costs £21, but with a little bit of paint on this, you can change the look completely. So this kind of basic rudimentary style can also be called French Provincial, Gustavian, New England, and lots of other options available. And just with a little bit of style, you can change your whole look. When we talk about the, uh, the town house style, we're thinking about something a little bit more glitzy, a little bit more finished and polished. So what I'm going to show you is this one here. This is a sort of a Georgian style chandelier. That's to say it's an adaption of the Flemish style, which is a style often used in any old house, that being sort of a sphere in the middle and then the arms coming off. This one is slightly more involved, slightly more worked. It's got the nice finial at the bottom here. It's got the hexagonal drip pans and it's got the uh, square tubing which is a nice detail here so the whole thing is a sort of a Flemish chandelier but a little bit beyond and it does look very glitzy but effectively it's really a smart finished polished item for a townhouse environment a similar thing on the lantern side and this is a very popular one is our Georgian lantern the large Georgian lantern and this is a really popular finish which is the the polished nickel the polished nickel is a very contemporary look and it's really very smart. The whole lantern gives off a nice, elegant town feel to it and would grace many a hallway, stairwell, or any location where a lantern would be suited. The wall lights, once again, the wall lights are many in style and variation. This is one that we find quite useful. And this is in the brass. But it's a nice mellow finish to it. It's a waxed or waxed uh, finish, which takes off the shine and gives the item a nice lived-in look. It's got a nice finish to it, and as much as the detail detailing around the uh, the back plate, the scroll arm, it's all sort of classical and really made to last, and looks like a timeless classic. Just a plain double arm wall light. In summary, the two basic style options are really to anchor your interior design and your decorating scheme. However, there are many styles within these styles and many vari variations of lighting from these. We in the uh, lighting agency try to encourage people not to have a fixed period style. We don't want them to be living in a museum piece supplied by us, but to have a look which reflects the uh, character and personality of the house owner. Thanks for